Like many other things in life, your paddleboard needs proper care. Not doing so will cause your board to have a shorter lifespan and cause faster wear and tear. So today, let's dive into some simple steps to help you prolong the life of your board. Let's dive into it. So the first thing I recommend doing after every paddle, especially those who paddle in salt water, is to give your board a fresh water rinse. This simply helps remove any salt or sand or any other thing stuck to your paddle board after you paddle. And also helps protect it from any other unwanted scratches as you store it away or as you reload it another day for another paddle. This will not only keep your board looking newer, but also keep it faster as you have a clean, smooth board every time you paddle in the water. Now when it comes to storing your board, Direct sunlight is your worst enemy as it can cause the most damage to your paddle board. So simply put, the best place to store your board is in shade or inside. And if you have a climate controlled area to store your board, that's even better. But if you're like me, sometimes all you have is a shaded area in your garage to store your equipment and that's okay as well, as long as it's out of that direct sunlight. Even though this is the single most important step in terms of protecting your board, so many people do not do this. I see so many boards stored in direct sunlight and they are destroyed so quickly. So please do yourself a favor and store your board somewhere in the shade or in a climate controlled location. So obviously ISEPs have a little bit different process when it comes to storage. The first thing you can do is after you have rinsed and dried it all the way off, you can deflate it all the way, roll it up and put it into storage. The second option is you can actually just leave your inflatable inflated all the way, just simply rinse it off once again and store it away like you would like a hardboard. But if you're like me and you live in a very hot climate, I definitely recommend at least lowering the pressure of your board to 10 PSI or lower. This simply helps ensure that your board has the room to flex with the heat as it rises and falls throughout the day. So I hope these few tips help you take better care of your paddle board and enjoy more time on the water. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the channel for more content like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hasta luego, amigos.